Good day everyone. Today we are discussing organogenesis. So we know plant tissue culture is the uh, is growing plant cells or tissues or organs under sterile conditions on uh, a culture medium. Okay, that is called plant tissue culture. It is also called my micro propagation because we produce clones of the plant using this method. There are three common pathways of plant tissue culture. Uh, that is propagation from pre-existing meristem that is already existing meristem meristems which are uh, seen in the shoot or the nodal culture next is organogenesis and the third one is non-somatic embryogenesis so what are the three pathways of plant tissue culture they are uh, uh, propagation from pre-existing meristems organogenesis and non-somatic zygotic embryogenesis so what is organogenesis the plant uh, that contain uh, organs like meristem cortex phloem uh, epidermis they all consist of structural uh, cells okay so the cells have the uh, nature to create a whole plant we know that is the uh, basic principle of tissue culture and um, the the we use these tissues to create a whole new plant and this is called a organogenesis so what is our organogenesis we can define organogenesis as the development of advantageous or advantageous organs of primordia from undifferentiated cell masses in tissue culture by the process of differentiation which is called as organogenesis now organogenesis has uh, collogenesis and rhizogenesis collogenesis in which only the adventitious shoot bud is initiated from the callus tissue rhizogenesis means adventitious root formation takes place from the callus tissue so two types one is collogenesis and rhizogenesis they uh, come under organogenesis Mm, organogenesis means the development of uh, a certain organs or tissues collogenesis means development of adventitious shoot and rhizogenesis is the formation of adventitious root okay so what are the different types of organogenesis in plant tissue culture we can see that mm, the adventitious uh, undifferentiated tissue which is called as the callus and this callus which contains meristematic nodules and the, they are further developed okay and the development is in three pathways that is shoot regeneration it is based on the unipolar structure with shoot apical meristem okay the callus will have shoot apical meristem now root uh, regeneration is unipolar structure with root apical meristem and somatic embryogenesis where this there is a bipolar structure both the shoot and the root are present so in organogenesis what happens organogenesis the callus should have if the callus has unipolar then it can develop into a shoot or root and if it is bipolar it can develop into a whole uh, organ now indirect organogenesis means the plant organ formation on callus tissue derived from x plant uh, and for this we use plant growth regulators and uh, reg uh, and differentiation occurs the uh, skoog and miller uh, medium is used and uh, here we can see that the ratio of auxin and cytokinin is uh, uh, influences the differentiation of the callus tissue okay here they we have shown the uh, tapioca leaf explant culture uh, in varying concentration of auxin uh, and cytokinin and where they have shown the different organ development in direct organogenesis the formation of organ directly on the surface of the cultured intact explant and this process does not involve the callus formation that is called a direct organogenesis so in direct organogenesis uh, here the development of callus takes place and direct organogenesis no uh, involvement of callus takes place now let us see the role of growth regulators direct organogenesis uh, bypasses the need for callus phase and um, here the example is somatic embryos uh, and most uh, evidence uh, evidences suggest that direct embryo embryogenesis proceed from cell uh, which were already embryologically competent um, while they were part of original and differentiated tissue okay 
so uh, here we can see how the uh, direct organogenesis takes place so difference between direct organogenesis and indirect organogenesis is that we can develop the organs as such from a um, explant whereas in uh, indirect organogenesis development of callus takes place that is the difference between direct organogenesis and indirect organogenesis uh, in indirect organogenesis we can see that callus tissue is formed whereas in direct organogenesis there is no involvement of callus tissue we can see the shoot directly coming out from the uh, explant okay the shoot or the root uh, directly coming out from the explant now the factors affecting organogenesis when we see first one is the size of the explant uh, the organogenesis directly depend upon the size of the explant if there is consisting larger explant means uh, uh, especially when there is uh, tissues like parenchyma vascular tissue and cambium they have a re greater regenerative ability than the smaller explant next is source of the explant most suitable uh, source is um, uh, depending upon the species and also leaf and leaf fragments uh, show a maximum regenerating capacity another factor is the age of the explant where the um, uh, physiological age is very important for in vitro organogenesis uh, in nicotiana species we have seen that the regeneration of adventitious shoot is only noted if the leaf explant is collected from in the vegetative stage that is in the flowering stage before the flowering stage we have to collect the explant so uh, in factors uh, first three factors are one is size of the explant next one is the source of the explant and the third one is the age of the explant the size when there is parenchymatous vascular tissue or cambium they have greater regenerative capacity source um, that is from which uh, region they are taking uh, that depends and then the age of the explant also um, is a factor next let's see what are the other factors let's see one is seasonal variation here we can see that in lilium uh, species uh, when the explant is taken during the spring time uh, it gives maximum ge uh, the regenerating capacity uh, another factor is oxygen uh, gradient that is the shoot bud formation takes place when the when there is available of oxygen inside the culture vessel okay next is quality and the intensity of light blue region of the spectrum promote the shoot formation and the red uh, region of the spectrum promote the root formation next is temperature is very important uh, about 25 degrees celsius is very uh, is uh, um, appropriate for the growth of the culture uh, in bulbous species the optimum temperature will be lower than 15 8, uh, 15 to 18 degree celsius so um, apart from the uh, size and age uh, age seasonal variation oxygen gradient the quality and intensity of light and temperature are also important for the um, uh, for organogenesis uh, or for uh, the development of shoot or uh, root okay uh, so um, what are the um, uh, just uh, uh, rewind what all you learned what are the factors that you have studied um, one is the uh, size of the explant next is the age of the explant we have studied and then we uh, the seasonal variation the oxygen presence of oxygen then optimum uh, light uh, light the quality and then the intensity of the light is important uh, similarly the temperature is also important for um, uh, development of uh, callus okay now there are some other factors also which are important uh, let us see what are what they are also so one is culture medium the medium uh, it is solidified with agar it for favors the bud formation okay uh, and uh, the ph of the medium is important we have already learned that the ph should be 5.6 to 5.8 before sterilization then the ploidy level the variation in chromosome number will affect the plant culture and uh, when there is increase in chromosome instability there will be there will be decline of the uh, 
development of callus tissue and the age of the uh, um, cells are also important so what is what are the applications of organogenesis we will see that is the plant tissue culture or organogenesis has direct commercial application uh, then the micro propagation using meristem and shoot culture produce large number of identical in, uh, individuals the screening program uh, also uh, is a factor then large scale growth of plant cells can be seen and the removal of virus uh, virus or any diseased uh, 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 disease free um, plants can be produced so what are the applications once for you will say uh, one is the commercial application large num amount of uh, plants can be produced then the disease free uh, plants can be produced then meristem uh, a culture can be produced so uh, is coming to the conclusion the organogenesis is the development pathway in which either the shoot or the root can be induced in uh, induced from a uh, callus and then um,